Hey there, it's Lime with the Toy Temple, and today I thought I'd take a look at Vision from the Marvel Legends Retro Wave Series 2. And yeah, it does come with a little uh, Ultron head. Uh, does not fit on the Ultron Build-A-Figure, I'll tell you that. Too small of a hole. So I'm not sure if that's a Build-A-Figure piece or if it's an accessory, but I just wanted to address it. Just, you know, put it at start. Uh, but yeah, this Vision is incredible. Man, I really like this. Let me uh, let me run it down. First off, it's the classic vision. It's got the metallic green. It's got the yellow. They even like panel lined the the ribs. Whoa, I I really like this. Really fits in with my classic Avengers display super well. The cape is plastic, which I don't mind because it helps them stand. Uh, but I'd prefer a flowing cape. I don't know, I'm of two minds with plastic and cloth. Like, each one has its own benefits, but in this case, with him being an android, I I prefer the plastic. I don't know, just makes him look like a much cleaner look, and it doesn't scrape around, and I don't know, I like it. The diamond on the chest came out really clean. The face looks incredible. That red with that metallic green, ooh, so smooth. And they even did the, uh, the little stone at the top. In the middle of the forehead, the eyes look good. Black around those eyes. Very good looking. Very good. Uh, they did the little angle. Comes to a point on his forearm. And yeah, on, the, on there it's kind of weird for the boot cut because you can see the green when you turn the boots, but no big deal. He does have this nice body style where it does come with uh, butterfly shoulders, but mine, there we go. I don't know, I just love seeing like this new body style. I don't know if it's new, but I'm really digging the butterfly shoulders. And this body style in particular, I've seen it with Iceman, I've seen it with, uh, I think they're coming out with a new Daredevil with it, but I dig it a lot. It's a good proportionate size, The you know, the thighs aren't enormous. The chest and the ribs are a good proportion to the rest of the body. Not super long like that old Spider-Man. Uh, the metallic paint just makes this thing just pop. The yellow and the green, really great combination. Really enjoy it. Here, let's have some fun. Pop that head off. We'll grab uh, Ultron. I mean, that happened, right? Sorta. And, uh, yeah, why not? That's uh, that's a look, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe you could get a old, I don't know, DC Multiverse Cyborg and pop this thing on it. But I don't know what to do with that head. If you have any advice for what you did with that, let me know. I'd love to hear it because I, I'd like to have a classic Ultron. I would, but I don't know what body to use to display this. It's a really good looking head. It's got the yellow. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern. It's got those ugly chompy teeth to it but i don't know what to do with it and i don't want to display it on this guy because i love this figure i know it doesn't come with any accessories other than this but i'm still debating if this is a build a figure or a actual accessory but for this vision i'm going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5. i really like it clean lines good articulation uh 20 dollars he's Still relatively easy to find if you look for him. He's out there, so give him a look. See if you uh, see if you like him. Maybe you can fill in on your MCU shelf if you can't find a MCU Vision out there. But yeah, if you love classic Vision or classic Avengers, grab yourself a Vision, and I know you'll be the one to thank me. So with that, thank you for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Like I said, let me know down in the comments what you did with this guy. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.